Where are you? Where is our leader? Hey y'all, this is Sammy Obeyed, math major. There's two things right now in the world that disgust me. Number one, police brutality. Number two, people arguing about it using shitty math. Do you think systemic racism is a problem in law enforcement agencies in the United States? No, I, I don't think there's systemic racism. I think 99.9% .9 of our law enforcement officers are great Americans. If you want to have a productive conversation about police brutality, you got to at least come correct with your basic arithmetic. Before I begin, I am not anti-police. In fact, I love the police. In fact, I'm in love with the police. And I know this because every time I see one on the road, my heart starts beating uncontrollably. I have no political agenda. I'm not liberal, I'm not conservative, I'm not black, I'm not white. I'm Arab American, which just gives you more reason to hate me. Let's go. We don't even deal with the police, we deal directly with the CIA. Math, myth one. In America, the police kill more white people than black people. This is the most divisive statement because it's the first thing conservatives bring up and then liberals often respond, nah uh black people are 2.5 times more likely to be killed by the police. So which is true? Both. This information comes from statista.com, a non-politically affiliated service. Rule number one when citing stats, always get it from sources that are just raw data because we all know raw is best. So I took the average over the last three years because I passed the fifth grade. In America, the police kill about 1,000 civilians each year, 409 of which are white, that we know of. Despite what our sports fields look like, black people make up 13% of the population and white people make up 60%, which means if cops shot all of our country at random and killed 1,000 people total, only 130 would be black, but for some reason, it's 222 which means black people are, by definition, disproportionately murdered by the police. I know it's a big word, but it's a big problem, so learn the word. Now, let me show you a very sad math trick. If you divide these numbers by their share of the population, you get 1708 and 681. And if you divide those two ratios, you get that black people are 2.5 times more likely to get killed by the police. So the reason people are divided on this is because they can't divide. Math, myth, Two, there was a tweet floating around the last few days. For every 10,000 black people arrested for violent crime, three are killed. For every 10,000 white people arrested for violent crime, four are killed. He only tweeted it once, so I guess somebody responded. I don't fully understand where this came from, and I Googled it in various phrasings, but still nothing. So let's just assume that it's true to be nice, because every person on Twitter deserves at least one chance. What's also true, African Americans are 21 times more likely to be arrested for violent crimes than white Americans. Now this was in 1999, so we can definitely blame Hillary, am I right? A more current stat, in 2015, the UN, which I never heard of but sounds like some Marxist p to me, says that African American adults are 5.9 times as likely to be incarcerated than white Americans. But forget the UN, let's use a domestic source. University of Michigan literally hand counted the exonerations in 2016 and found that African American prisoners who were convicted of murder are about 50% more likely to be innocent than other convicted murderers. Again, these are verified stats, blue check mark and all. Applying any one of these stats to this tweet, you still get that black people are more likely to be killed by police than white people, regardless of the crime, in a country where there are four white people for every one black person you've seen Seinfeld. Math myth three. A couple years ago, a Yale English major, yes, English, she had to go to Yale to study English, wrote this piece called The Myth Black Lives Matter. What kind of human vacuum do you have to be to write an article with this title? Like, not even trying to hide the racism. So Karen, I'm sorry, Heather says, over the past decade, according to FBI data, 40% of cop killers have been black. Officers are killed by blacks at a rate of 2.5 times higher than the rate at which blacks are killed by the police. First of all, anybody who says the blacks is racist. Like you could have easily just said black people, but you chose to dehumanize them by removing the people part. Just the blacks. Like you love the Mike Epps movie. This is a complete BS statistic. Look up the data on police killings. Matter of fact, I'll show it to you from the Officer Down Memorial page. This is a pro law enforcement site. About 150 officers are killed in the line of duty each year over the last few years. 
Over 200 black people are killed by the police every year. Do you see the problem yet? Taking what she says literally, if 40% of cop killers are black, that's 60 officers killed by black people a year, 200 black people killed by officers a year, 60 divided by 200 is 0.3. She said it's 2.5, which maybe she mixed up with the likelihood of black people getting killed by the police. But then again, she spent 200K to major in something you can learn from a pocket dictionary. By the way, if you are seething with anger at this point in my video, please light up the comment section with some racist shit. Prove how not racist you are. I'll help you out. Math myth four. Let's stick with Heather for a moment because she seems to love making mathematical arguments, even though Wall Street Journal makes sure to let people know it's just opinion. She wrote an article this week basically saying the police aren't racist. What's her proof? It's all Obama's fault. She says, in 2018, African Americans made up 53% of known homicide offenders in the US. So I decided to do what none of her readers do apparently, which is check the work. Look at this table, directly from the FBI. I have them in my bookmarks because they do the same for me. See here, African Americans are 6,318 of homicide offenders in 2018. Again, those that were convicted. Divided by 16,335 homicides, total is 38%. You just said it was 54. You didn't think we were gonna check? So for the record, black people do not commit over half of the homicides in America, just ask the FBI. Secondly, look at this. Over 4,000 of these homicides race unknown. In a country where the majority is white, everyone knows what race they are, you couldn't identify the race of a quarter of the offenders? So let's just call them Rachel Dolezal. Math Myth 5. Also by our English major friend, Heather McDonald of Manhattan. She said in a testimony in front of Congress, last year that in 2017 there were 7,851 black homicide victims. Only 2.8% of those black casualties were killed by a cop. Now if anybody ever says to you that only 2.8% of a group of people is killed by anything, your expected response should always be, it should be 0%, you basic binary bit. <sighs> well, that one was easy. Math Myth 6. White officers are no more likely to kill black civilians than other officers. My first response to this is, so what? That's not the problem here. The problem is police brutality against minorities, not the color of the skin of the person who commits the brutality. You don't need to make this any more racist than it already is. But I still looked into it, and two universities compiled a list of more than 900 fatal U.S. police shootings in 2015, then asked police departments for information about the race of the offenders responsible for the shootings. So basically asking the police department, hey, can you give us some data that might show that you're racist? And the police department's like, oh, oh yeah. Yeah, one second. Yeah, there you go. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Oh, other side. Maureen, get the shredder! So if your argument is that black cops are more or even equally likely to kill black suspects, you're making a pretty heavy accusation on the percentage of black cops that are crooked. Think about that. Math Myth 7. Police brutality is directly correlated with the crime rate. Simply not true. Look at this graph. I double, triple check the data on this and I encourage you to do the same. What, you don't have time, but you have time to argue? Well, congratulations, you're a goddamn American. Math Myth 8. All of the data on police brutality is accurate and reliable. What? We can't trust the government? Aside from the bogus stats I've shown you today, 99.9% .9 There's also been countless incidences of police brutality being swept under the rug. Talk about pigs in a blanket. In 2015, the Bureau of Justice Statistics found that from 2003 to 2009 and 2011, ARD, arrest-related deaths, only captured approximately 49% of people killed by police. Let's assume that in fact, only half of police killings are being reported, and thus there's an extra 1,000 a year that we aren't even hearing about. And even if for some reason that extra thousand doesn't skew more likely to affect black people, like the officers who hide their killings are extremely deceitful murderers, but not racist, you still combine that data with the data that we have and still black people are 1.75 times more likely to be killed by the police. That's best case scenario. And if you don't understand how I got 1.75 from our earlier figure of 2.5 and this stat, do the Division yourself, you moron. I'm not your tutor. But I am available to tutor your kids if they want that. 
So anytime anyone cites any stat on police brutality, you can just say, shh, that's only half the truth, Cupcake, which you can do to me right now in the comments. Drop me a comment, go, I dare you. Final myth, black lives matter. 100% true. And if you don't believe that 100%, you suck at being human and you suck at math too. You can feel it. You can feel it. You can feel it.